In this video, we are going to create a simple chat app such that when you type something here, you can see the other side also can see this message. We will not implement some fancy features in this chat app because we just want to demonstrate how to use the socket IO. So we just have some simple function in this chat app. So let's back to our project. First, we are going to create a folder. So in the terminal, we type make directory and we just type chat app. So we cd chat app and then we type code dot to open the VS code. So we open the terminal and the first thing we need to do is to init the Node.js project. So npm init dash dash y. So you have the package.json here. And the next thing is we have to install the socket IO. So we type npm install socket.io. And since we also need to use the node mod, so you need to use npm install global and type node mod. And since I already installed, so I will cancel this command. And the first thing, we have to do is to create a server.js. And according to the documentation, the first thing we need to do is to create a variable called IO. So we copy this and paste it to our server.js. And at here, we use the port number 3000. And the next thing is we copy this. This is going to check whether there is something, whether there are user connect to the server or disconnect from the server. So we copy this and also paste it to our server.js. And also, since we want the server to emit the message of hello, so we type socket.emit message and hello world. So when there is someone connect to the server, he should receive the message hello world. Now we are going to create a client.js and also the index.html. And first we have to link to the socket IO. So we have to use the script source and then we link to the localhost and since we have the server in the port 3000, so we use 3000 socket.io and socket.io.js. And now we just create a simple form and we have the ID of message form, which let the user to send message. So we have to add the input and we add the name of message and also we create a button for the user to send message so the message will append inside this div so we have the div and id is equal to message so now if we open the third live server and you should see a simple input form and also a button for sending the message now we go to the client.js and first we are going to create a variable and socket IO and socket is equal to IO and we pass the local host 3000 and then we use socket.on and if there is a event message and then this will console.load the data. So this is if the socket at server emits the message hello world, the current side should also receive the message hello world. So now first we have to start the server. So we type not mount server. Now we are going to open the developer tools and go to the console. And if we refresh the page, and we see a user connected. However, there is no hello world here. And this is because we forgot to connect to our client.js inside the index page. So we 
save again and now you can see the hello world in the console of the client side now instead of just console.load the data we are going to append the message to our div which has the id message so first we are going to get the div container so we have the id message so we can use constant message is equal to document dot get element by id and then now we can create a function append message and then message and then we create the html is equal to we use the template literal and we have the div and we pass the message inside the div so what we are going to do is we are going to append this message to this container so we back to our client.js and we type message dot in the html is plus echo html so now if we refresh the page so at here we should use the append message and pass the data here so we save it you can see it cannot read the property of inner html of now and this is because we forgot to type the defer here so it will allow to load all the page first and then run this client.js so we save it now you can see the message append inside the div which is message so we can go to take a look at the html and now you can see the hello world is append inside this div which has the id message now we are going to make the user can send the message by clicking on this send button so we have to get this form so this has the id of message form so we copy this and go back to the client.js and create a new constant message form is equal to document get element by id and we type message form here and then we type message form message form dot add event listener and then click it should be submit and then the first thing we have to do is to prevent the default behavior so the page will not be reload after clicking on the send message button and then we use this socket and we should place this form behind after we let the variable so we use socket.emit and we name this event as chat message and then we are going to pass these values the values has the name of message so we use message form dot message dot value and at last we are going to clear the form so message form dot message dot value is equal to a empty string now we back to the server.js and here we add the socket dot on this is listening the chat message event and if we listen the message it will then emit the message to all the user so we are going to emit the message like before and then we pass the message you may ask why this is socket and this is io for socket it will just send the message to this user and if use io.emit this will send the message to all user that connected to the server so now we can try to use our website again now we open to browser and then we type some message you can see they already can communicate now we can go back to the documentation and at here we just want to copy the style so our chat app will look much nicer so we can go to the index and before the end of the header we paste the style and since we do not have the list item and because at here we just use the div instead of the list 
so we replace this with div now we can take a look on the message boss this will much more beautiful so now we can try to use the website again and we type hello now you can see the message displayed here and here you can also see the message displayed in both sides the style in the chat box is a little bit weird and this is because we forgot to add the backslash here so if we save it and check our website again you can see the style are back to normal now and this is how to create a simple chat app by using Socket.io.